2009 Hatsko Indian Nations University commemorates its 125th year of operation. With more on this story is Hatsko reporter Eric Appa. With the 2009 spring semester underway, Haskell commemorates 125 years of operation with a series of events scheduled throughout 2009. Haskell Administrator Frida Gipp. And what the hopes are and the intent is for Haskell to showcase this year um, are I mean, one major event per month um, throughout the 12 months. Uh, in January, our major event was convocation, which we were fortunate to have um, the Tuckway family um, take part in, you know, five generations here at Haskell. Mm -hmm. And um, in February, our event will be a reception that Haskell will be uh, recognized at in Washington, D.C. at the National Museum of American Indian. And that's on February 4th. So uh, we hope to have many more events in March. There'll be um, an event, uh, a workshop on indigenous games and looking at the impact of Haskell in sports history. Um, so that will be really interesting, and Judith Gipp is coordinating that. Uh, in April, we're going to launch uh, a nationwide call uh, for uh, looking for Haskell's 125 most influential people. And May, of course, is commencement and spring powwow, so that will be our signature event there. But we also are encouraging clubs and organizations here on campus and nationwide to contact us and let us know how they will be commemorating Haskell's 125th. So um, on our website, we'll have information posted. They're also collecting stories. Um, so we look to have a lot of different things um, of interest to people of various ages and interests. In sports news, both basketball teams played this week and came away with wins. First up, the Lady Indians played tough defense and hitting shots when they needed it. Top scorers for Haskell was Justina George with 27 points and Rhea Parker with 26 points. Haskell won the game with a score of 75 to Central Christian 59 and improved to a record of 11 wins and 7 losses. On the men's side, they also played Central Christian. Haskell player Solomon Horse Chief was the top scorer with 28 points in a game that had the team down at halftime, but came scoring back for it, starting finishing. Haskell won by 4 points over Central Christian 75 to 71. In our second part of the story, involving the canceling of the Haskell track season, we continue with an interview with Coach Ted Juno and his explanation of why the program was canceled. One was the lack of facilities. Uh, the track is not safe. Uh, our, our track coaches, when I came here two years ago, told me they, they ceased recruiting track athletes because they worried about the safety uh, and the availability of facilities for track. That was one, and then compound that is we had participation was really less than a handful last year at the end of the season and we just felt like the interest for track was not where we needed it to be competitive we worried about safety and liability issues there, there's that possibility it was not you know it was not a reason because of budget issues or anything else uh, if and when we can renovate a track if and when we can get track coaches who feel comfortable recruiting athletes here, uh, I think we would have a, a good possibility of having track. There's a rich tradition of track here at Haskell. It's something that I think um, can be built upon, but it, at the present time, it just doesn't seem feasible for us to offer that as an intercollegiate sport. A lot of the people that have been running are distance runners who will continue to work out uh, through cross country. Um, one of the good things about track really is that people can run an, an inter track meet that is unaffiliated, uh, unattached. Uh, we've had Haskell students who have run at Haskell cross country meets uh, unattached. So, you know, that is something that's available and an avenue for students here at Haskell if they're really motivated to do that. That's all for this edition of Haskell News. My name is Travis Gishing. Check us out on MySpace. We will leave you with scenes from the Welcome Back Powwow. Onward, Haskell.